Unfortunately, the immutable laws of physics contradict the whole premise of your account. Allow me to reconstruct this, if I may, for Miss Fennis, as I've heard this story a number of times. Newman, Kramer, if you'll indulge me. According to your story, Hernandez passes you and starts walking up the ramp. Mm -hmm. Then you say you were struck on the right temple. The spit then proceeds to ricochet off the temple, striking Newman between the third and the fourth rib. The spit then came off the rib, made a right turn, hitting Newman in the right wrist, causing him to drop his baseball cap. The spit then splashed off the wrist, pauses in midair, mind you, makes a left turn, and lands on Newman's left thigh. That is one magic loogie. Well, that's the way it happened. What happened to your head when you got hit? Well, uh, uh, my head went back to the left. Say that again. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. So, what are you saying? I'm saying that the spit could not have come from behind. That there had to have been a second spitter. <laughs> behind the bushes on the gravelly road. If the spitter was behind you as you claim, that would have caused your head to pitch forward. So the spit could have only come from the front and to the right. But that's not what they would have you believe.